The first thing we want to do is we want to inspect the models, the scans. And then what we want to do is we want to bring them a little bit better in the center of Blender. Here we're using the articulator module and to put it onto a, like a virtual platform, we call that the mounting plate and we're going to put that up to the stopper, which is that little um, horizontal piece. Then I'm going to rotate a little bit and look at the central pillar as well, move it up from the right side and then we're going to look at it from the front side, tilt it. Now if you've got a photo that would be really helpful if you're doing a bigger job. Then I'm going to, to focus on the models. Now I don't like the scans at all, but I'm not going to put too much attention on the lower model. So what what I'll do is I'll just wipe out a whole section of the actual scan and delete it. Then we're going to focus on the upper. The upper needs to be a closed model. And here to improve things, to make things easier, we're going to sculpt smooth a little bit. And this is so that when we're using the cutting tool, that it cuts nicely through the scan. This is the arch cutting tool, which we very often use. And I'm seeing that I've got a little bit of palette missing. So I'm going to be fixing that palette. And we call this scaffolding technique, where we just put a few edges from one side to the other, we fill the hole and then we sculpt smooth them. Of course we need to make a mental note of that just in case it digs into the person's palette when it's finished. Then we're going to delete the inverse and I'm going to spend a little bit more time on fixing this model. This is important because this becomes the fitting surface of the denture so we need to inspect and we do that in the laboratory as well by using a plaster knife and then uh, smoothing and cutting off irregularities. Then I'm going to head over to the block art module and we're going to create an offset model and then we're going to survey that from the top. So here I'm specifically looking at the undercuts of the tissue and the gap between the canine and the molar as well. And then we're going to create a bit of a retentive model. I'm going to mark the undercut so we can actually visualize them. And then we're going to make this blocked out version of the model, which is also expanded a little bit. From here on, we're going to cut out our, or we're going to mark where we want our denture to to finish. Here I'm going to make a few distal clasps and I'm going to take that sort of halfway along the, the front anterior region and then I'm going to double check that in occlusion because we don't want it to bite on the actual uh, pink gum when we print it. Here what I'm doing is I've made the surface. I'm going to choose to be a two millimeter thick surface and then we're going to just smooth that down quickly. And then of course we need a few teeth. I'm going to go into the wax up module and have a quick look at some teeth. Now we have the entire Ruthenium tooth library, but to make things quicker, I'll select a few teeth from the wax up module. Now, they don't look that good, but we can still manipulate the anatomy of those teeth. Here, I'm remeshing the tooth so that it becomes a little bit finer so that I can pull out the mesh and also sculpt these teeth a little bit. Here yeah, I'm sculpting and smoothing a little bit, sort of trying to shape it and mimic it to its neighbor. In the denture module we always have to do a bit of object management and then we're going to 
make this into a one piece denture, which means that these are going to fuse together into one piece. And finally, we need to cut the occlusion. So what I'm going to do is I'll select the antagonist, which is going to create a cutter, which is slightly offset as well. And then we're going to cut it and then smooth it down. Finally, lastly, we do the fitting surface.